Good morning. It is four o'clock in the morning and why am I up at four o'clock in the morning? Well, two reasons. We are going to Conception Island and that means we have to head out the cut out of Stocking Island and we want to do it on high tide just to make it a little bit safer. And secondly, we've got a seven to eight hour sail to Conception Island. So we want to get started so we can get there at a reasonable time. <music> That was a beautiful drop. At the end of the day, when you release the halyard and it only comes halfway down, you're left coming up here with waves and you're cruising through the water trying to get to either your anchorage or your marina and fight uh, trying to get half of your sail down. Not an easy thing, not something that many sailors like to do. So as a precaution, we use a dry lube which is nothing more than an aerosol solvent with a dry lubricant added to it. Just before you start for the day and go sailing, you come up to the mast and you spray each one of the cars. Basically, there's a track that runs all the way up the mast and then there's a car that clamps around the track and the cars basically slide up and down the track. What you do is you take your dry lube and you spray inside the car with the solvent and the dry lube once you then raise the, your main, that dry lube and the solvent paste itself all the way up the track. The solvent dries and then the dry lube is left on the actual track. We do this about once a month and then at the end of the day when it's time to release the halyard and drop the sail, you know everything works when you release the halyard, let it run free and literally the uh, gravity and the weight of the sail drops all the way down and you know it's been perfect when the head of your sail, the top part of the triangle of the sail, which is this part right here, comes down and into the sail bag. You know that you need to do some more lubing when that doesn't happen. And like I said, I think we probably do it about once a month where we're lubing both sides of the track and the cars before we go sailing that day. From Stocking Island, we sail 46 nautical miles to anchor in West Bay off Conception Island. Conception Island will be found on any tour boat itinerary. There are no services or structures, and the entire island is protected by the Bahamas National Trust. Therefore, no fishing, shelling, conking or lobstering are allowed in this no-take zone. From the beach on West Bay, we take the well-marked trail along the north side to the beaches on the east side of the island. You are a mess. Look at you. Amazing that you're not as messy. At the eastern end of the beach, we found a rope leading up to the white sand cliffs. We, of course, used the rope to climb up the cliff. I don't think the dogs are going to make it. They're already sliding. I don't know what they're going to do when you get to the top. I'll have to do it one at a time so they don't freak out. Ah! ah, 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 ah. ah. I don't think they had any problems. They had no problems, you're right. I think we found a place where we're gonna go snorkeling.
I don't think the dogs are going to make it up this one. We return to Lab Mariner to seat up for snorkeling. Conception Island has a surrounding reef that extends four nautical miles to the north and one nautical mile to the south. We head into our dinghy and go to Southampton Reef to the north of West Bay. So we are at Conception Island. We're going to do our first snorkel. We found a place with a lot of coral heads. You can see that they're really close to the surface. So it should be quite beautiful. We'll see what we see. We head back to the east side without the lab mariners and climb the rope ladder to hike the cliffs. Our first full day at Conception Island. In the morning we took the dogs for a walk along a beautiful white sand beach on the north shore and up onto a white cliff. In the afternoon we went snorkeling. Some of the coral heads were a good 25 feet high. It was amazing, almost reaching the top of the water. And now we're taking a nice long walk along the north side. It's quite beautiful these white cliffs that we're walking next to and there's a pretty well established path though it does take a bit of a struggle because you have to climb a rope to get up the rock in the beginning but the rest of the path is quite easy. I'll let you see what these cliffs look like and they stretch on for a long ways. I'm only doing part of the path because it's starting to get dark, so I have to head back. Conception Island is about six square miles and is an idyllic site for snorkeling, walking on the beaches, watching the sunset, and gazing at the stars. Most of the interior of the island is made up of flats of mangrove trees and creeks and provides a nesting area for green turtles, Nassau grouper, and lobsters. There is a shallow bar at the entrance to the Glue Goon area, so plan to enter at about an hour before high tide. About an hour before high tide, we headed into the lagoon entrance, and with the wind coming from the south, it was a bit of a challenge. Once past the shallow bar, we found there was plenty of depth to explore the creeks in the diggy. Mangroves are one of the few trees that tolerate saline conditions, and the only tree that can grow directly in salt water. The roots of mangroves are in direct contact with salt water, and filtration of the salt ions from the salt water occurs in the roots. Mangroves possess a triple layered pore structure with an outermost layer that is able to block out a large percentage of sodium ions, with inner layers providing additional blockage. Oh, I like scared him. Doesn't like the uh... shadow. Well, at least we don't have to uh, battle the surge coming in this way. The way our mast is bouncing back and forth, it looks like it's surging more. <laughs> exactly. Try that at all. As you can see, it's pretty wavy in the background. It was much easier to access the beach from the lagoon side than it was to access it from our boat side. 
and we found that getting out that shallow bar was even harder than coming in with that south wind. That's a good thing. Yeah, we gotta, get, we gotta go sideways though, through this side channel like they're doing it. Ah. Join us next week when we sail to Long Island, where we rent a car and check out the many sites there, including white sand beaches and blue holes.